I don't know if most patients know this, but you can refuse to get discharged. I mean, within reason, if you just say, hey, I'm having a lot of pain, I'm not ready to be discharged. You know, the argument they're going to make is, well, we're going to give you pain medication. You're going to get in pain medication here. You're going to get it at home. Then, you know, you're trying to say, well, I don't want to go home because I don't, I can't take oral pain medications. I need IV pain medications. You're going to have to create a rationale for why whatever you're going to get in the hospital, you couldn't get at home. And I think, you know, if, if you can make the argument like, Hey, um, I live alone. I don't think I could take these medicines orally. I'd like another, you know, 24, 48 hours by and large, you know, I think that if you have a good doctor and you can make a case for why you don't want to be discharged, um, you know, most doctors I know will factor that into their decision, uh, depending on whether you're making, you know, a coherent argument. Just saying, I don't want to go home because I like it here <laughs> or it's more comfy uh, is not going to be the rationale that's going to win out. But if you can make a cogent ar argument for staying, then, you know, I, I think it's um, perfectly reasonable for a clinician to factor that in in his discharge planning.